Pain, passion and politics are at the very heart of the work of artist Frida Kahlo. Hi, I'm Jessie and I'm talking about art. Frida Kahlo produced around 200 drawings, paintings and sketches. Many of these were self-portraits, and many of them also expressed her psychological and physical pain. She was born in Mexico City in 1907 to a Mexican mother and a German father. After surviving childhood polio, at the age of 19 she was in a horrendous bus accident. She suffered terrible injuries to her spine, her legs and her hips from the accident, and these would impact on her for the rest of her life. During her recovery, her mother set up an easel with paints, and a mirror so that she could paint while she was lying down in bed. And so began her career as an artist. Her life and health would be forever dominated by this tragic accident and her imprisonment in various medical corsets, her miscarriages and her failed attempts at corrective surgery gave rise to a prolific outpouring of confessional and revealing self-portraits. Finally emerging from her first plaster cast, Frida decided not to continue wearing the quite androgynous clothing she used to wear, but instead started wearing the Mexican long skirts, jewellery, shawls of her Mexican ancestors. She also became an active member of the Mexican Communist Party and revealed herself as the artist we see in so many of her paintings. For Frida, passion and politics would also become entwined. And through her revolutionary friends, she met and fell in love with the artist Diego Rivera. He was 42 when she was just 22 and they got married. And her parents bitterly described them as the elephant and the dove. Forever in the shadow of Diego, she embarked on a series of incredible surrealist paintings, tracing her miscarriages and failed operations. She lived for a short time in Detroit and New York with Diego. And while she was there, she recorded her life and politics with a series of self-portraits. Among her many affairs was a short-lived romance with communist leader Leon Trotsky while he was in exile in Mexico. One of her most iconic paintings is called The Broken Column. And this depiction of both suffering and eroticism actually led some critics to say that she was exploiting her pain. Following the amputation of her right leg, she attended her solo show being wheeled in on her bed. She also attended her final communist rally in a wheelchair. And really, she was nearing the end of her life at this point. She died at her family home, the Blue House, in 1954. Just before she died, she said, I hope leaving is joyful, and I hope never to return. <laughs>